just the day before pitching, they told me that Direct Brilliante wanted to pitch a project to me. I, I knew right there and then. And it was a yes. I didn't know the story. I, I had no I, I had no idea it was horror. I had no I zero clue and I, I knew it was a it was a yes. You know what? It. I'm really scared of horror, if I'm being honest. And the only thing that really made me say yes to this film is Direct Brilliante one, and second is just how beautiful the story is, um, and the history behind this this story, um, and injected into the story. Um, you know, I think it helps so much when you're filming in a in a location that really really scares you. And I feel like you know the the moment I stepped into the bahay na pula. Um, goosebumps talaga um, parang the creepiness is there parang the fear is all, always inside you so hindi yun, hindi yun mawawala but um, memorable and daming memorable pero siguro I would say isa sa pinaka memorable sa akin na, na experience sa bahay na pula would be siguro yung last scene ko last day <laughs> um, and that would also be the, the, the last scene in the movie I no, not the last scene in the movie. Ayoko na, baka mag-spoil nga ako if I say more. But, so it has something to do with my, you know, with my my tummy in, in the film. So that was very memorable for me. I think just getting out of my comfort zone. I think um, just jumping doing a horror, horror film. Yes. Yeah, just doing a horror film. But you know, more than that, um, challenging siya yo Julia yung love scene. Ito na sa sabihin direct eh. Pero <laughs> Um ayun nga po I think yun overall is um just just going out of my comfort zone unang-una it's my first horror film and second nga is yes, you know what what the film asked of me. Um but you know at the end of the day it's about trusting your director and trusting yourself. And I think the reason why I trusted myself in the process of creating this film was because um, everybody in the set trusted me. So I think it's a yung um, malaking factor sa kung bakit uh, nagawa namin yung mga kailangan namin, namin gawin. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about um, growing and learning and trusting, believing. You and, have love scenes with both guys. Oh, <laughs> you'll be surprised. It's not the both guys. Really? <laughs> Just watch the film, Paul. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Well, hindi ka may hindi mahirap kasi um si Julia uh unang una pa lang. Yeah. Alam mo yon yung parang when you see her, when I met her, and when I talked to her, sa ano dito palang sa 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 tawo dito. When we pitched to her this project, yeah. Ano nakasaya? Eh, parang alam mo yun. Yung palang excited na talaga siya, and uh, parang nakita mo talaga sa ano niya, sa mata niya, sa salita niya na talaga. She really wanted to alam mo yun to yeah. collab with me. So, yun. Uh, uh, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, exciting to work with all of them. So, uh, yun. At saka yung security ko minsan na parang na, na overcome ko rin. No? Yung minsan, yung hindi ako, okay. baka hindi ako makakonek, hindi ako makaban, pero andali, madali. Yes, of course. That's why I, I, the day before pitching, just the day before pitching, they told me that Direct Brilliant they wanted to pitch a project to me. I, I knew right there and then, and it was a yes. I didn't know the story. I, I had no, I, I had no idea it was horror. I had no, I zero clue, and I, I knew it was a, it was a yes. 
Um, and I told Derek, sabi ko, my whole career I vowed to myself na hindi ako gagawa ng horror. Ganun ako makatakot. Ganun akong takotin. <laughs> But, um, you know, God has really ways of making you do things you don't expect to do. And I think um, he put me in the situation where I couldn't say no to Derek Brillante and this horror film. So... And um, I'm happy. I'm very happy that that I did this. Uh, I think it was a major turning point in in my right. life. 